Hello, welcome to How to Stick Your Noah's Ark Together. First of all, we're assuming that you have mixed up your royal icing. Um, if you haven't and you want some guidance on this, then there's a separate download that you can do. So your royal icing should be lovely and thick in the soft peak stage. Pop it into your icing bag and then whatever base you're going to stick your nose out to have ready. You need to take the two boat sides first and pop a nice line of icing along the bottom of one of the boat sides. If you have an extra pair of hands to help you with this, just to help stick it together, and that's fantastic, it would really help with this one. Uh, if you don't, try and get a couple of tumblers um, just to help secure things in place. And then pop a line of icing around three of the edges of the side pit. Now this needs to stick about a centimetre in from the outside of the boat, not right on the edge, about a centimetre in. Again, if you've got an extra pair of hands, then fantastic, just get them to hold it. Um, the other thing that works really well, if it goes a bit wobbly, is to pop a little bit of um, a strip of marzipan or some sugar paste, um, just to help prop it up. And then do the same with the second boat base rectangle. And then Chris is now popping some royal icing along three, four of the long edges of the top part. This will become the deck. Now, once this is actually on, um, it should give a lot more substance to the two, the front and the back part of Noah's Ark. So stick that firmly in place. If you need to add an extra bit of um, icing on the inside just to secure it, you can pop some more royal icing just around the inside of the, the joins, just like Chris is doing now. Just give it a quick squirt inside, uh, just to give it an extra firmness. And then take your other part of Noah's Ark, the boat, and stick that on the top. Finishing with a nice long line of royal icing at the bottom. Now the bottom part should all line up nicely and when you stick this on your plate or your tray or your cake board um, then pop some more royal icing around the bottom just to make sure that it's got lots and lots to support it. Now ideally what you do at this point is you go away and leave it for a couple of hours. Um, and you can either build the house now or you can build it, like, build it later on top. But it's a really good time now to go and have a cup of tea. So the top house part, you've got the five sided shapes which are the front and the back of the house stick icing all around all of the sides of the house. Now that goes towards the, the front or the back of the boat and take one of these slightly smaller rectangles and pop icing around all four sides of that. And this should stick on the side at the front. And again, repeat with the back part. And then finally, the other side. This makes it look really, really easy. Um, if you start getting frustrated at this point, don't panic. We've done this loads of times. Um, and we actually, you know, we're quite used to it. The first time we did this, it did take us a lot longer than Chris is demonstrating, but we're trying to look professional for you. Now the roof bit. Now this can be the tricky bit. 
make sure you've got lots of icing all around the top on every single part of the house. The roof can have a tendency to slide out, so if you've got a second pair of hands, just get them to just hold on to it for a little bit. Or, you know, just hold there for about five or six minutes. Again, Chris is looking, yeah, absolute total professional on this. Nice line of icing around the edge, and also if you need to, pop icing around all the joins, just securing it. And there you have your arms. Nice long. Now I think on the instructions you've actually put on here. <laughs> this is why you leave it overnight. Oh, classic. Don't oh, panic if this happens. So funny. To how to 